On to India now. It is making its presence felt in the global arms bazaar, not as a buyer. India is already the world's biggest defense buyer. This time we're talking about made in India weapons being sold in the international market. And India has been making strides. Another major deal could be finalized soon. Indonesia wants to buy the BrahMos missile. The negotiations are underway. The deal could be worth at least $200 million. The BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile. It can be fired from land, airplanes, and even submarines. India developed it in collaboration with Russia. The Indian Defence Forces already have the BrahMos in their arsenal, and now India wants to use it to boost its defence exports. The BrahMos is an important component in that plan. The missile has generated a lot of interest in Southeast Asia in particular. Last year, India clinched its first deal. The Philippines bought the BrahMos. This deal was worth $375 million. It included three missile batteries, training for the operators, and a logistics support package. When will the Philippines get the BrahMos? The first deliveries are expected this year. Reports say Manila wants more. The Philippines is looking at procuring more BrahMos systems. And how will they use it? Reports say the Philippines wants to deploy the BrahMos on its shores. The plan is to use it as an anti-ship missile, meaning it can be used to take out enemy ships. And Indonesia has similar needs. After all, both of them have the same security challenge. It's called China. This is about the South China Sea. It is one of the biggest territorial disputes of our times. The region is rich in oil and gas. There are tons of fish. Trade worth over $3 trillion passes through these waters. China wants to control the entire South China Sea. But five other players stake claim to the islands and the waters. Taiwan, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia and Brunei. They have competing and sometimes overlapping claims. China is getting serious about controlling this region. It now has the world's largest navy. It is building islands and airstrips. It is expanding its military presence in the South China Sea and this poses a threat for other countries here. Countries like Indonesia and the Philippines. Now, the Philippines is involved in a direct dispute in the South China Sea. Indonesia is not. But it has interests in the same waters, and it wants to protect key shipping lanes. So both countries are ramping up their military procurements. They're investing in new weapons. In fact, I have some data. Indonesia's investment shot up to 69% in 2022. And the Philippines saw a rise of 40%. And some of this spending is set to come India's way. That is the biggest takeaway. Make in India and defense is finally taking off. New Delhi has set an ambitious goal. It wants to export $5 billion worth of arms by 2025. The BrahMos is just the beginning. It serves two purposes, meeting India's defense export goals and sending a message to China. India is arming like-minded partners against Chinese aggression. More countries in the region are interested. Reports say India is in talks with Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand and Myanmar. The first three countries on this list are involved in the South China Sea dispute. So is this payback for the border provocation in the Himalayas? We'd say that's one way of looking at it.